With Trey Lance declaring for the 2021 NFL Draft, North Dakota State will have a brand new quarterback under center this weekend in Zeb Noland. But who is Zeb Noland? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up and coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and let me know who you want to see in future episodes. Zeb Noland grew up in Watkinsville, Georgia, a town of about 3,000 people, about an hour east of Atlanta. His father, Travis, played quarterback at Appalachian State and went on to become a high school football coach. Growing up, Zeb never lacked the talent or skill at quarterback. He was just overlooked as a sophomore at Stephen County High School in Georgia. While other quarterbacks his age were attending camps and receiving offers, Zeb fell a little behind. Travis told the Ames Tribune, In the recruiting world of quarterbacks, so much is based on your sophomore year. He was a little behind the eight ball there. Of course, the big thing with college coaches is they want you to come to their camps to see you throw in person, and me being a coach and not having a lot of money, it was hard for us to go to a lot of those places. So his recruitment was really slow and frustrating. Travis Nolan had been a head coach for almost two decades when he took the head coaching job at Akani, a school that was in the middle of a rebuild. Zeb was excited to accept the challenge of starting from scratch and helping build a culture around the program. During his junior year, Nolan threw for 1,966 yards and 14 touchdowns while also rushing for six touchdowns on the ground and started to draw interest from non-Power 5 schools. During his senior year, Nolan threw for 1,627 yards and 17 touchdowns while leading his team to a 9-3 record in the Region 8 AAA Championship, the first regional title since 2004. He was named the 8 AAA Player of the Year and two-time All-Region pick in high school. According to 24-7 Sports Composite, Zeb Nolan was a three-star recruit who was 60th best pro-style quarterback, 123rd best player in Georgia, and 1,373rd best player nationally. He had over eight different offers from the likes of Appalachian State, Iowa State, and Toledo. Nolan's recruitment was a complicated one. His first offer came from Toledo in April of 2015, and Appalachian State's offer came a month later. At the time, Nolan was being recruited by Matt Campbell at Toledo, but it was unknown whether Campbell was going to be staying at Toledo. Nolan loved Campbell and wanted to commit there, but it was the uncertainty that was holding him back. Campbell told Nolan he needed to commit somewhere where he wanted to go because that was in the best interest for Nolan. On the other hand, Seb was also being recruited hard by Scott Satterfield and Appalachian State. Satterfield and Travis Nolan had played together at Appalachian State in the early 90s and remained close friends. Travis told the Ames Tribune, Campbell knew the ties I had and Zeb had to App State. My mother-in-law lives 10 minutes away from the campus. He just wanted Zeb to do what was best for him. The crazy thing was, Campbell had a relationship with Satterfield as well. They were offensive assistants together at Toledo in 2009 and had remained close. Campbell wanted to alleviate the stress Nolan was experiencing, knowing wherever he chose to go to school, he was going to be in good hands. Campbell told the Ames Tribune, It was like, Zeb, I don't want to hinder this process with App State. We're really close with Coach Satterfield and is one of my best friends in coaching. If that's the best place for you to go, then that's where you've got to go. And we'll continue to make the best decision for us as well. Nolan decided to commit to App State before his senior year due to the familiarity, allure, and stability. So, Zeb Nolan started his career at App State, right? Well, no. Later that fall, Campbell took the head coaching job at Iowa State, hoping to build something in Ames. Campbell's first call was to Travis Nolan to see if Zeb would be interested in playing at Iowa State. Travis told the Ames Tribune, My response was, Coach, we really wanted to play for you at Toledo, but we just felt like you weren't going to be there. Of course I want you to offer him. Iowa State offered Zeb after his senior football season. Before he was supposed to play in the Georgia All-Star game, Zeb took a midweek visit to Ames and didn't know what to expect. Nolan told the Ames Tribune, My granddad asked me if I was flying into Des Moines, and I didn't even know what that was. He told the Tribune, I took my visit out here and fell in love with it. We've got nice facilities and the campus is nice. But I looked past that and liked the personal relationships. I built with them. I didn't know who the quarterback coach was going to be at the time, but I trusted Coach Campbell knew. So when I knew that, I just had to make the hard decision, and that's what I went with. Nolan then took a visit to Appalachian State again, and Satterfield told Nolan he wanted him to make the best decision for Zeb himself. Then things got even more complicated when Alabama started showing interest in Nolan as well. Zeb Nolan ultimately decided to decommit from App State and commit to Iowa State. 
He told the Tribune, I just felt like my opportunity to come here was to come and change a program. That's what I did in high school when my dad took a different job. It was a culture changer, and I really liked that aspect of things. That kind of influenced me to come here. Zeb Nolan's career at Iowa State had a rough start. During the first few days of fall camp his freshman year, Nolan tore his ACL causing him to miss the season, the following spring practices, and most of the following summer. Nolan had been in contention to take over the backup quarterback job. As a result, Nolan redshirted and was able to fully recover by the following fall. During his redshirt freshman season, Nolan played in four games and started against Baylor. He finished the season throwing for 533 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. The following season, Nolan served as the primary backup to Kyle Kemp. Kemp went down the first game of the season and Nolan was thrown into the starting quarterback job. In five games, Nolan threw for 722 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception. In a loss to number five Oklahoma, Nolan threw for 360 yards and two touchdowns and threw for 233 yards and one touchdown against Akron. Overall, Nolan struggled and was replaced by Brock Purdy. Purdy played well and Nolan saw the writing on the wall, so he made the tough decision to enter the transfer portal. While Zeb Nolan was in the transfer portal, North Dakota State, South Dakota State, South Dakota, East Tennessee, Eastern Michigan, Richmond, and Eastern Washington all showed interest. Ultimately, Nolan chose to transfer to North Dakota State, telling the Des Moines Register, it's kind of like the culture at Iowa State. Good, hardworking kids. That's what I wanted to be a part. Nolan also spoke on transferring, saying, it was really tough. North Dakota State gave me just a great opportunity. I had a good time in Ames. I enjoyed it there. I still love all the guys and text them and keep in contact with them because for two years, they were my best friends. It's great to see they're having great success, and I wish them nothing but the best in their bowl game and I'll be pulling for them hard. I'll always pull for those guys. Nolan left Iowa State having no hard feelings towards the coaching staff and believing he got a fair shake. Nolan and Purdy remained friends after Nolan left and stayed in touch. When Nolan first got to North Dakota State, he competed for the Bison starting quarterback job against Trey Lance and Noah Sanders. Lance went on to win the starting quarterback job and played extremely well, not throwing a single interception his freshman year. Nolan spoke on the situation saying, Last fall, when Trey was announced the starter, I told him I'd always have his back no matter what, and stuck with that and ran with it. Dreams come to reality sometimes. Those who wait will be a champion, and I believe we can accomplish that this spring. Waiting it out has been worth it because I did learn a lot and grew as a football player. Nolan finished the 2019 championship season throwing for 120 yards and one touchdown. Due to COVID-19, the Bison only played one game this past fall beating Central Arkansas 39 to 28. After the game, Trey Lance decided to declare for the 2021 NFL Draft. Nolan had planned to return to North Dakota State whether Lance returned or not. Cordell Volson, a Bison offensive lineman, told KVVR, Zeb is a leader. He's a guy that's going to come out and compete every single day. He's a guy you want to go to battle with. You want to go play games with because you know he'll give everything he has and leave it all out there on the field. Now it's time for the Zeb Nolan era in Fargo. North Dakota State opens their season on Sunday, February 21st on ESPN Plus as a top-rated FCS team against Youngstown State. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.